I just built the AI automation for content repurposing that actually works. Basically, it can take any audio or video file and turn it into a blog post, a newsletter, Twitter posts, LinkedIn posts, like whatever you want. So I had the idea of building this automation to turn all my TikTok videos into tutorials from a newsletter. I was doing it all manually. I even hired someone on my team to like take the transcripts of those videos, trying to reformat it, then add it to my newsletter. So like people who don't watch my videos or like, you know, we don't get to see my videos every time and who are subscribed to the newsletter can actually learn all those AI tutorials for free, which by the way, you should sign up for. It's called becomeanairmarketer.com. So that's how I got the idea for the automation. But I was like, hey, this could be literally used for anything. You know, if you have internal video content for your company, you can turn that into LinkedIn posts or newsletter content or blog post content or anything else you want. Maybe you like going on a walk and you have that's when you get all your best ideas. You can record a voice note and then that voice note could automatically turn into your posts for you and again, you can schedule them automatically as well. So the automation is pretty much going to stay the same. The only change you might want to make based on your use case is just going to be the prompt and the output. So let's build it together. It's super simple. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment for that. So we're going to use Zapier for the platform, which we always do because I personally like Zapier. So our first step, our trigger is going to be Google Drive. Every time we're going to add a file to a Google Drive folder, this is going to trigger our automation. So I've created a new folder in my Google Drive just for this automation. So this automation doesn't trigger for like any other files that I upload or somebody sends to me. So I have this folder called Content Repurposing where I'm going to be adding these audio or video files for repurposing work. So my trigger app is going to be Google Drive and my event is going to be new file in the folder. So here I'm just going to select my Google Drive. I'm going to select the folder. I'm just going to test to make sure it's picking up the right folder. Okay, all good to go. Our next step is going to be OpenAI. We're going to be using the AI called Whisper from OpenAI. Basically, it's an API by OpenAI, which can take any audio or video file. I can create the transcription from that file. So this is exactly what we're going to do. So for the setup, our app we're going to pick here is OpenAI. And for the event, we're going to pick create transcription. So you do need an OpenAI account like with the API key. So you can just add this to make sure like, you know, you can access access OpenAI through API. Let me know if in the comments, if you don't know how to do that step, I can do a video on that or can point you to the right source. But basically, even if you do this step yourself, you will get the instructions on screen on how to do so. So once you have your OpenAI account connected with Zapier under configure, this is where we're going to go to file and we're going to pick the file that we're adding to Google Drive when the automation is going to trigger. So here I'm just going to pick the file now from the variables and I'm going to leave the prompt and language of the audio empty. I mean, it's English by default for me. So maybe if you are creating content in a different language, maybe specify that so we can make sure that it's being transcribed the right way. For prompt here, I'm actually leaving it empty right now. I don't think I need to do a prompt. All I need is a transcript right now. Maybe if there's a case where, you know, there's a lot of other stuff going on and I don't want like my transcript to have everything in it, maybe then it can add a prompt, which is basically natural language instructions to AI in this case to like remove certain pieces of the transcript if needed. But for the most part, you don't need that. So we just leave it as is. Then we go to the test tab just to make sure it's connected properly. It looks like I'm getting a transcript from my TikTok video just right. Except it's sort of like misspelling Claude, which is fair. It probably doesn't know how to spell Claude. So, you know, I can fix that later on. For the next step, we're going to take the transcript now. And this is where we can like figure out how do we want to repurpose the content? Do we want a blog post? Do we want a newsletter? Do we want a Twitter post? You know, LinkedIn post, something else, whatever you want. This is where we can make that happen. I'm going to use Claude. Again, you can use ChatGPT again for this step. I just personally like using Claude for all my writing tasks. So I'm just going to stick with it. Plus, you kind of get to see how you can use Claude as well within the same automation. So our app is going to be Claude. Our event is going to be send message. And under configuration, our user message is just going to be the content we're getting from the transcription. Just to kind of recap, so I don't lose you. We have an automation where every time our audio or video file is added to Google Drive, it triggers the automation, AI gets called upon, AI takes that video or audio, get us a transcript. And now now that transcript is being fed to AI, which in this case is Claude as a user message. And our system message is where we're sort of writing our prompt on what we want AI to do with this transcription. So here I've got like this prompt to basically turn my transcription into the newsletter from my tutorial. I use this like prompt basically through like in my Claude project. So I basically copy the same here. We prompting is a whole different video, so we can get into it. Leave in the comments if you want that. Basically, you put in the prompt to turn that transcript into whatever output you're looking for. So this is my sort of long prompt in this case. And our next step is to test to make sure it's all connected properly. And now once we have our you know, results from the cloud or chat GPT, we can take this to wherever we want. So in this case, I'm just going to add it to Google Docs just to make sure we can add images, you know, we can refine any formatting, we can add other things if we need to. Maybe you're sort of doing a news newsletter for your like, you know, for your company as like, you know, educating your audience or something, you can like send it directly to your email marketing software, you can send it to Notion, you can send it to Slack, it really depends on what sort of automation use case that you envision and that makes sense for you, you can just select that as your app for this next step. And then for the event, 
you can just you know send a message or create a new document or append to a document again whatever would be most applicable to that application that you're using so under configure i'm just gonna take the title of the video i'm gonna put that as a document name and for the document content i'm gonna take the output from my cloud step so now we have everything that cloud gave me as the output for the content the body of the document and the title is going to be just a title from the video so just so that it's easier for me to see which one's which it's just easier that way okay so we do a test okay it looks like it passed so i'm just going to go to my google docs i'm going to give it like 30 seconds i'm going to refresh it here and uh, yeah looks like we have our document right there but you'll notice that uh, we're not getting the formatting quite right we're getting some system message up top we don't want that i mean if you're trying to use this automation in more of a regular workflow this is going to add friction to our workflow so let's see if we can fix that i'm going to go to the same step where we are trying to create this content and in my system message i'm just going to add please make sure the output has no system message and just the tutorial so i'm just adding those instructions to claude and uh, i also have like some tags here like that are sort of showing up with those hashtags i thought it would be automatically sort of take that and add those headers that's not happening not a problem we can fix that as well what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use something called formatter by zapier as a step in between it's kind of like a regex operation for those who are familiar where we can sort of like figure out how we can format certain pieces of text so we can kind of get that header and everything going on if you're not familiar with it you know i'm, I'm pretty bad at it so what i like doing is i just go to chat gpt and shell chat gpt be like hey this is my output from ai i want to format it this way for my like google docs can you tell me what to do so chat gpt just tells me how i can basically use formatter by zap here to figure out the exact way i want to do it so i just follow those instructions within the formatter by zap here and now let's test this again i'm going to refresh my google docs and yeah it looks like everything's working i have no system message on top and i have my headers as h2 tags which is what i wanted for this example that's our automation we have an audio or video file we add it to our google drive then ai gets a transcription and then we can repurpose it to whatever we want you can have multiple steps here you know we have a one step just for that google doc maybe you can have a google doc and you're appending multiple things you're appending twitter posts you're appending you know linkedin posts you're appending blog posts newsletter you can literally take this piece of content and reformat it and however you want and you can do multiple ways together all at once within a single automation if this was useful you learned something new give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more ai tools and workflows and how you can make your life easier yeah and leave a comment if you have any questions i hope you enjoy the video we'll see you in the next one